Ah, well, hello there. And are you well today? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Isn't it wonderful? We're here in 2022. Oh, how time does go fast, doesn't it? Well, are you enjoying the new year? Are you still living up to your New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Some yes, some no. Oh, well, what can I say? Hmm. Where are we off to today? Well, here's a clue. If I were to say, bonjour, would you say Germany? No. Would you say France? <laughs> of course you would. So we are off to France. We're going to start out in Paris and go down to the south coast of France where it is warm. <laughs> right now here in England, it is four degrees. Four degrees. That's 39 Fahrenheit. It is wet. It is cold. It is gray. It is dull. I want to go someplace warm. How about you? Mm. You know, a long time ago, this was in the this was in the early part of the 50s. I hitchhiked down through France from well, took the ferry of course across to Calais and then hitchhiked to Paris, down to Lyon. And then I went down to the bottom of France, to the Côte d'Azur. And I hitchhiked all the way then from Marseille, all the way through Toulon, and all the way up to Nice and Monaco, and then passed into the Italian area. So yes, that was my first exposure to Italy back in the 50s. And yes, they do have better weather than we do here in England. Oh, well. And it was lovely. The beaches at Nice were pebbly. But there was Jeanine de Negro. Jeanine. Oh, well. That's a long time ago. And... Today, we are going to follow that route, but we're going to be flying. Ryanair 186 is going to take to the skies and go from Paris to Toulonnier, which is L-F-T-H, and it's on a little spit of land that sticks out into the Mediterranean on the south coast and not too far from Marseille. We'll start out at Orly and go down to Toulonnier. Now, this was requested by RB. There's a YouTuber by the, just goes by the name of RB. So we're going to follow this. And he said, possible video LFPO, that's Paris Orly, to LFTH Toulonnier. He says it's a difficult approach. Now, there are a number of runways there, but this is also a military airport. So there are some severe restrictions for civilian aircraft. And I did do a check and there's only one active runway with, <laughs> apparently, and that's runway 05. And he says it's a very difficult approach. Well, I've never been to the airport there in Toulonnier, but I've been past the area through it, of course, back in the 50s. And I looked it up and I found that Transavia France does this route between Orly and uh, Toulonnier. It is flight 4442. 
4442. And if you want to look this up, you put in TO, which is the Transavia code, and then 4442 in flight aware, and it will bring it the flight right up. Now, in looking at the flights, I found that they do 737 flights between the two points. And it left, the last one left gate E4. So we'll be following the same route and, and leaving from one of the same gates. Paris Orly Airport scenery is by Jetstream Designs and it is a very detailed airport, but it isn't heavy on the frame rate. It was really quite good. So Jetstream Designs and Toulonier LFTH is freeware. I will put that into the description box below so that you can look it up yourself and download it if you wish. But it's a lovely bit of freeware. And the designers were Norbert Close and Bernard Junior. And there was apparently quite a bit of help from the French Navy and uh, who apparently used this airport. So that is where we're going to go today. Sound okay to you? Are you ready to go to the south of France? I thought so. So am I. So if you're ready, then let's go ahead into pre-flight and see what they have for us there, shall we? Well, here we are in Flight Aware and we're looking at the Transavia France Flight 4442. Here you can see the designations up above. And this is the one that went a few days ago. I couldn't find anything more recent than this. And went between Orly and it left gate E4 and went to Toulon in the southern part of France. Here's the route. Here you can see it's a pretty straightforward route all the way down. And then there's that little squiggle at the bottom. Well, let's see what kind of altitude they were flying at. Oh, 41,000 feet. That's interesting. That's, that's quite high. I don't know if we will be given the same one, but we could put it in just for the sake of following it exactly. And according to this, it's a 737 and the distance is in actual was 412 nautical miles. The taxi time at Orly was 21 minutes. Wow, that seems like an awful long time for a taxi. All right, so that's the, that's the route that they took. So we will be following that. So let's go and have a look at Windy. Well, here we are at Paris Orly Airport and we're looking at the information that they have here. 21 minutes ago, it says the wind was 210 degrees at 10 knots, varying between 180 and 240. Visibility is 8,000 meters, light rain, clouds broken 900, overcast 4,300. Temperature 7, dew point 7. That means there's going to be some interesting visibility issues. Q&H is 1011. But here's the important thing. It is IFR and it has been IFR for the past several hours. So that means we will have to file then a, an IFR clearance to take off. In the runways, these are the principal runways at Orly. We are going to be parked somewhere in this vicinity right here. This is where all the Transavia flights apparently uh, park. Going over to Toulonnier, here you can see the information that we have there. 
The wind is 320 degrees, 15 knots, varying from 290 to 350. Ceiling and visibility is okay. Well, we would expect that on the south of France. Uh, temperature, oh, is a warm five deg 15 degrees. I like that. Q&H, 1016, pretty much standard. And it is VFR. And here's the airport you can see right here. It's just at the head of that little bit of a spit of land right there. Now, looking at the runway information, as I said, this is a military airport. So we apparently are only allowed to land on this runway right here. That's on 05. That's the only runway that's in operation for civil aircraft, from what I can find out. So it's going to be very interesting. OK, let's go in and build up a flight plan, shall we? So here we are in Simbrief. We're in new flight plan. So we're, we are Ryanair. We are 186. We're departing from... LFPO and we're going to go to LFTH. LFTH. The ML, this is Marseille. There's our airframe with our registration EIENI. -E Cruise profile is six. Schedule flight time here is 1 hour 35. Departure runway is 24 according to this. <laughs> and the arrival is 05. So no matter what we're going to do, we're going to be coming in on some very crosswind uh, conditions down at Toulon. We are full. And the freight is one ton of... French Champagne, of course, naturalement. And here is the, the routing right here. I'll put all the routes, of course, down below in the description box. And there, there is the route. And it looks pretty much just like the same route that we saw Transavia do. OK, uh, shall we put in, f yes, let's put in flight level 410 to match the other one. And let's see if that's what we get. So I'm going to save the flight. And now I'm going to generate the flight and see what we get out of this. Well, there we are. We have our cruise flight level 410. Everything is looking good. Block fuel is 5,784. Airtime is one hour and six minutes. Not bad at all. And there's the full routing directly above. Here's the same pattern. Let's have a look below. See, here is Ryanair 186. Here is our flight altitude. And right here is the, the route that we've been given. This is the alternate airport of Marseille. We will be needing Cost index six will be needing the average wind in order to put that into the FMC. I'm going to have to make sure that we have 5,784 kilograms of fuel on board. Reserves 1935. And here trip and taxi is 3179. 
No tankering recommended. And here, this is the part that I will put into the description box below. Going down, let's have a look at the information for the descent. Now here's the, you can see here at flight level 200, that's 20,000 feet, it's 54 miles an hour is the wind. That's 15,000. You can see the wind speed is quite high. So we've got some high wind and also some cold temperatures. Look at this. My goodness. Here's the wind speed and temperature for our flight route. Look at this. 311 degrees at 51 knots and at minus 64. Wow. Well, we won't have any problem cooling down the champagne. <laughs> All right, now let's go down and have a look at the, the weather profiles and see what we've got. Oh, yes. Well, it looks like we do have some active fronts all around here. Well, it is winter. Things are changeable. So we will have to certainly be aware that we may have some bumpy conditions. Yes, definitely problems there. Now, looking at the, at the wind, this is for 39,000 feet here. This is close to our altitude. And here you can see that we're basically going to be having tailwinds. I like tailwinds, which will account, of course, for the short flight time between the two points. You can see the speed by these little arrows onto the side, the little tails on the back. The more tail feathers that they have, the faster it is. And here, look at this, minus 60 degrees, minus 62 degrees, minus 63. Yes, it's going to be chilly outside. Just as well that all of our passengers are on the inside and we don't have anybody on the wings. <laughs> and here's our profile. Here we go from Orly all the way up to the top of climb and then straight down into Doulonnier. This little wavy line, in case you're wondering, that's the troposphere. So we will be climbing above the troposphere to get a little bit calmer weather up there. So that's what we'll be looking for. All right, we have the information. Let's go and prepare Navigraph charts. All right, here we are, Navigraph charts. We click on flights, new flight from Sembrief, and there's the one that we just made. Click on this, open the charts list. We're going to need the airport. I tap, uh, click on that and then it goes to the bottom. And we'll need the South Aprons, I'll put a tick mark on that and a tick mark on this one too because this one shows us the coordinates uh, for the parking stands. But it's this one that we'll be looking at. As you can see here, this is where all the E parking stands are, is right in this area here. And that is where we're going to be, is in one of those. We'll be making the... This will be our departure, Sid. I'm going to pin it right there. So we'll be following this in our departure. All right, let's go on over to Toulonnier, open the charts list. We will need the airport information, so we will tick on that. By the way, there are two here. One is for military and the other one is for civil. This one 
is the civil. See, civil used chop. This is the, the one that we will be using. And we'll be coming in on 0, 05 in this direction. And here's the civil air apron down here. T2, T4, and T1 are taxiways only for the military. So when we land on here and we pull off onto the T3 taxiway, when we get to this particular point here, then we will have to backtrack down the runway and then enter the civil apron from here. So that will be our route when we get in. So I've added that and the approach will be coming in on runway five. So I'm going to put that in. Let's see this. Here's the information. So we'll be the initial approach fix is palm right down here. And then it's straight down onto runway five. Transition altitude is 5,000 feet. The transition level is assigned by the ATC. There's the localizer information, 108.1. And the final approach course is 049er. ATIS, 129.65. Airport elevation is 13 feet. Looking down at the bottom, so we will be setting our minimums to 256 feet for our decision height. Okay, and it is going to be the, this is the approach that we'll be making and we'll be coming in down here and then making our circle in to land at that point. So I'm going to put and pin this as well. Okay, now I'm going to go here. We'll be making the ILS runway five approach. So there is the entire route all put together very nicely. Everything ties up. We swing around, come around, and then come into land right there. Okay. Swing out. There is our full route. Well, quite different from the days when I was hitchhiking through here. Paris, Lyon, and then down to Avignon, Montpellier, Marseille, Toulon, and then around this coastline, Nice, <laughs> and all the way into Italy. Oh, yes, that was, that was quite a trip. But this is going to be a good one, too, because we're traveling with French champagne and caviar. And we're going to go someplace warm. Right. Well, if you're ready, let's go on into the cockpit and get everything cranked up, shall we? Oh, there you are. Come on in and take a seat. Fasten your seatbelt. Now, it is pouring its down with rain outside. I came to France to escape all of the rain. It's just like this in England. My goodness me. And we are parked at stand E4, exactly where the same flight from Trans Transavia France flight, it departed from this stand exactly. Ah, and we have kamikaze buses. Gotta keep our eyes open for those. Hmm. Oh well. Now, 
We have plenty of aircraft around us here at Orly Airport and it is very detailed. I have full weather working on active sky on these external views so coupled with the weather and with the very detailed airport scenery I am showing 17 18 frames per second which isn't bad really when you consider the high detail of everything that we're looking at and all of the weather detail as well hmm all right let's get ourselves ready then because we need to go to warmer climes so turn on the battery making sure that we have enough voltage up here and then turn on the fuel pumps and let's start the APU and get ourselves cranked up the forward service hatch is open the equipment stairs are down which means our passengers are going to be using their umbrellas when they start to board the aircraft sorry about that but this is Ryanair we save money on all of the ground equipment in order to give you complimentary champagne and caviar mm -hmm. now the EGT has climbed up just now starting to swing down and when this blue light comes on here I'll be it there it is now we have a hundred and fifteen volts so I'm going to turn on the IRS to get the GPS working I'm going to turn on the galley so that we can get a good cup of tea Emergency exit lights are now on, no smoking, fasten seat belts. You never know, they may come, they may come, I don't know, but oh well, maybe they will, maybe they won't. And then I'm going to turn on the window heat. And on a day like today, I am definitely going to turn on the probes outside. There's the electrical hydraulic pumps. Now let's get the heat going in the cabin, shall we? And listen. There's the rush of heat going through into the cabin, warming things up. Okay. All right, now we're ready to get ourselves set up. I've been around, I have kicked the tires, I've made sure that we've got the fuel on board. No problem washing the windows, the weather is doing that for us today. But everything is checked out on the ground, so we're ready now to start and program the FMC. So the position, we are at LFPO. We're at gate E04. Let's see if it's in there. Gate uh, E04. It is in there. And what we'll do is we'll check the coordinates. E4 is supposed to be 48. 34, 48, 43, 4. So 48, 43, 4. And it's also supposed to be 220, 21, 9. 221, 9. So that is it. So I put that into temporary and then load it into there. So now our GPS is working. Go into the route. And we are starting from LFPO, that's Orly, and we're going to LFTH, so LF and TH, Toulonier. We're flight number Ryanair, RYR, and we're number 186, so we'll put that in there. Go down to the next page. And here's where we put in the 
information. So we go directly first to Latra. So L A T R A. Then we go direct to Lamot. L A M U T. And it's the first one up here. And then we go direct to TIS, T-I-S. So T-I-S, T-I-S, there we are. And then we go direct to liquid, L-I-Q-I-D. L-I-Q-I-D. And then we take the Uniform Yankee 30. So Uniform Yankee 3-0 and that will take us to XTEL so X-A-T-E-L and then activate and execute we'll put in our fix which is LFTH LF and TH we want a four mile circle, we want a 10 mile circle, and a 30 mile circle. Now we'll go into descent, go to forecast. I'll leave the transition level as it is because we, France, in France, there's ATC assigns that. So we do need to put in the information for the descent altitudes of 20,000 feet, 15,000 feet, and 10,000 feet. Our destination Q and H is 1015. 1015. And then we need to put in the descent information at 20,000 feet. It is 31954. So 319. Five four at fifteen thousand. It is three two nine five five. And at ten thousand feet, it is three three nine at forty four. And then we execute that. We go now to departure. And we are supposed to be leaving on runway 24. But now we're going to have to tune in to the ATIS and find out what it is. So let's tune in to ATIS. That's 126.5. Warning, airport information, Victor, 1317, Zulu, wind, 199er, at 12, visibility greater than 20 miles, in light rain, sky condition, 800, scattered, ceiling, 2200, broken, temperature, 82.7, altimeter, 1008, landing and departing, runway 24, runway 25 left, runway 25 right, and runway 25, VFR aircraft, say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise controller on initial contact, you have, Victor, we have ATIS, but now we're going to need to get our departure clearance because it will be IFR. So let's get the clearance anyway. So I'm going to tune to ground, and I'm going to go and request the Ooh, IFR ground, clearance. Ryan, one eight six, ready to copy IFR clearance to La Palavesta Navy. Ryan, one eight six is clear to La Palavesta Navy Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain. Eight thousand departure frequency is one one eight point one five squat zero zero three one. Ryan, one eight six cleared to La Palavesta Navy Airport as filed. Fly runway heading, climb and maintain. Eight thousand departure on one one eight point one five squat zero zero three one. Ryanair 186, red back correct, contact ground on 121.7. All right, let's get the taxi clearance and see what they give us. Only ground, Ryanair 186, with Victor, ready to taxi, IFR. 
Ryanair 186 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 2 5 using taxiway Whiskey 1 Whiskey 5 Whiskey 3 1 Contact tower on 1 3 5 point, 0 When ready Taxi 2 and hold short runway 2 5 using taxiway Whiskey 1 Whiskey 5 Whiskey 3 1 Ryanair 186 Well we have our clearance It's going to be from runway 25 and we'll be taking the Latra 9 Romeo. All right, we'll go to arrivals. We're coming in on ILS 05, and the transition is Palm, and we'll be using the XTEL 3 Tango. So there's the Exitel 3 Tango, and we'll put that in. Go to legs, and now I'm going to switch to the flight plan, and I'm going to go through this on each of the steps to make sure if we have any discontinuities. So far, so good. And there's the two parts and there it crosses down makes the circle back and comes right in to land on runway 05 we have a good plan okay so now I'm going to turn on weather data can I do it for you? Okay, I'll put terrain over here and data there for you. We'll be departing on runway 25, so the heading that we need to set is 253. So I'm going to set my course here to 253. And here I put the heading of 253 in here as well. I'll do yours as well, is that okay? So 253. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to root. I'm going to perform the initialization. The fuel is already on board, we have it already there. We've got 5.8, it's going to take Reserves of 1935 plus the trip and taxi, which is 3179. That comes to 5114 or 5.1. So we'll put 5.1 in here. Reserves of 1.9. Double click that and it calculates. We're cost index 6. We're going to be flying at 410. The cruise wind is 307 at 56. 307 and 56. Transition altitude is 5,000 feet. Execute. N1 limit. Oh, eight degrees here in Paris. Not much better than we are in England. Take off, we'll do flaps 10. There's the center of gravity. Now I'm going to go to the next page. And here I'm going to select that we are wet. So it's a wet departure. And then I'm going to go here and activate these three. So we now have the V1, the rotate, and the V2. And the V2 is 145. Okay, up here I'm going to put 41,000 feet for our cruise altitude. Hopefully we'll make it. I'm going to leave this at zero because our landing altitude um, the airport is only 13 feet above sea level, so we'll leave that at zero. But I'll put in here the 
there we go. I've got this set in anticipation. All right, now let's see if we've got a good flight plan. So flight director on and VNAV, LNAV, we have green lights. We have a good flight plan. So I'll arm the throttle, arm the VOR1, turn on the yaw damper, the flight continuity light goes off. I'll make sure the localizer is 108.1. So that's all set and the decision height so I'll put 256 in there for the decision height so that goes on this button and it shows down there so now we have everything set okay right everything is looking good I'll bring up the stairs and get the hatch closed. And check that the lights have gone out. Good. Now we're set. Let's do the before start, the fuel is checked, windows all locked, some seat belt signs are on, door lights are out, all the lights are out. MCP is set, takeoff thrust and speeds are set, CDU pre-flight is correct, rudder airlong trim is set, takeoff briefing. What we will be doing, TCAS is now on, what we need to do from where we are, we will need to reverse up and we need to have our tail swing to the right because we will need to go in that direction to get to the threshold of runway 25. So I'll go into pushback. We will do a standard L shape, turn the nose to the left, 90 degrees, select the tug if you are ready and the anti-collision light is now on. So attendance, please secure, we're going to do a pushback if nothing goes amiss. And I've got everything set up on this screen here so that you can see what we have to do. Are you ready? Are you all buckled in? Okay, here we go then. Target to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that, ready to push. Tail to the right. Parking brakes release, please. Parking brake is released. Now, which engine would you like to start Brakes first released. today? You want to start number one? Okay, then I'll switch to number one generator up here. And as soon as we start to move, I'll turn Brakes this released. one. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I just turned it on. The start valve has opened. The engine is spinning up. Here you can see the N2 is coming and climbing up, 13, 14. When that gets to 24, then I'll introduce the fuel to engine number one. And it's coming up. There it is. And there's the fuel into engine number one. The engine gas temperature is catching on and it is climbing in a moment the low oil pressure light will go out it just did we'll hear it the engines in just a moment there it is can you hear the engines they've just caught all right now I'll switch that off i'm checking up here that i have 115 volts Switching now to engine number two. We're starting engine number two. 
The stop valve has opened. And here you can see the N2 is starting to climb. Parking brake complete. Parking brake set. Parking brake is set. Brake set. And as soon as the N2 gets to 24, I'll introduce the fuel. There it is. Steering pin is pulled. Watch for the slip release from vents on your right after the flight. Uh, thank you. And now you can see it's climbing. Looking for the low oil pressure light to go out. It has. It's picking up very nicely. It's climbing. When this red tick mark has gone off, we'll be able to switch to the main engines for our generator. There's the engines. And we have 115 volts. As soon as this stabilizes, I'll switch. There it is. Now I'm going to switch to the main engines. Turn on the heat again. Turn on off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. Turn on the runway lights and check that everything is okay. Now I'm going to go to lap 10. Generators are on. Probe heat is on. Anti-ice not required just yet. Isolation valve auto closed. Engine stop levers idle and taxi takeoff briefing is completed and flight deck door is closed and locked. Recall is checked, flight controls check, flaps. We have green light, stabilizer trim is correct, auto brake is RTO, speed brake lever is down in detent. Ground equipment is clear. So we will now just verify these, make that adjustment there. Right, adjust the seat. Oh, there's quite a bit of air traffic around here. And there are kamikazes. We're going to have to watch out for everything. Okay, so we go down here all the way and till we get to the active so break off attendance hang on tight and we'll give a little bit of power to get ourselves started here This is a busy airport. My frame rate still holding at 17, so not doing bad, not doing bad. And got to stay on course here because this is a bit of a bridge, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of other aircraft around here for certain. The very, very detailed. Jetstream designs are the ones who made this and they did an excellent job of it. All I've got to do is remember to drive straight, we'll be alright. <laughs> Our runway is over here on the right, just down here a little bit, so... We're on course. Got to look out for all of the traffic though. Days like today, 
it's sometimes hard to see other vehicles. Now we're crossing an active runway here so best make sure that we have nothing coming. We're fine. what a VOR station looks like, well that's it right there. There's a world travel that is parked out there, don't know why. Hope it's not lurking with intent. Well, that's the Whiskey 33, so we're going down here and then we'll turn on the Whiskey 31. World Travel 222, continue taxi. World Travel 222, landing, hold position, crush another track. Well, my frame rate has increased as I get to the end of the taxiway. But the wind is blowing viciously. This may be a simulator, but if the wind is blowing, it does affect how you taxi as well. Right, I'll swing around here and that will bring us to the threshold of runway 25.
do the check. Briefing, engine bleeds are on, start switches are continuous and steady light and collision. Cabin is secure. I am starting the clock. You know, you have to get to a certain distance from the runway before you can actually contact the tower with P3D. Anyway, here we go.
you like to go into the main cabin and have some complimentary champagne and caviar? Why not? And I'll let you know as soon as we're on our descent and coming into Toulonnières and then we will have that landing, an interesting landing, on runway 05, which we'll have to see whether we make it or not, shall we? Oh, okay. I'll see you in a little bit. what our route 
is going to be. My goodness me, when I explored those islands, they didn't seem so close together. We had to take ferry boats, you know. Oh my, oh well, right, we're doing well. We're coming down, we are on course. 10,000 feet, it's time to put the lights on. And pressurization is set. And seatbelt signs are on. Recall is checked. Auto brake is set for number three. Landing data, VREF, and all the rest are set. And we are doing very nicely. Oh, yes. Ah. Well, 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 well. Those islands. Oh, well. Marseille is over on the right, up the road a little bit. And we are doing well on our course. The barometer pressure is 256 for landing decision height. course I've got of 048 oh, 049 I should say right I'm going to flaps one we need to slow up a little bit going around here it makes it a little easier and less bumpy because now that we're over the water there will be some rough air
400 feet.
airport in sight yet. by the way, 
is freeware and it is an absolute delight. I'm showing 29 frames per second and it's covering this area very nicely. This is Toulonniere we are at and all the big posh villas are up on the hills there. Woo! Pay attention now. Okay. I'm going to get to a point on the uh, cross runway there that I'm going to have to turn down. the crew to work wow look at the detail of this incredible it comes in I think two parts it has all kinds of local area as well This is called the cargo area that we're just coming up alongside. Wow, this is nice. that little dog leg and this is the cross runway now I'm going to have to turn left here and go all the way down it in order to get to the Interesting. Floating markers. All right. It looks clear. There we go then. Remember, these taxiways there are only for military aircraft. And since I forgot to bring the rockets and the uh, machine guns and all the rest of it, I suppose we'll have to go down this way. But this over here, this is the civil aviation terminal on the left, just over here. here and everything it's looking very detailed all right coming up I'll make my exit from the runway here slow up a little bit don't want to get a speeding ticket find ourselves a place to park over there to the right.
take this one and make our turn here. is off, lights are all off, seatbelt signs are off, and here we go, and fuel off, batteries off, shutdown is complete, and we're here. Toulonnier, bienvenue. Well, there you have it. I must say this, going from Paris down to here took a little over an hour. When I did this in the 1950s, and I was just a teenager at those, uh, those times, and I was hitchhiking. It took me three days to get down here. I stopped off at Lyon, Auberge de Jeunesse, and then went down from there to Marseille, again another Auberge de Jeunesse, and then I made my way across the uh, south coast of France, heading towards Nice, and my encounter with uh, Jeanine. <laughs> oh yes, well, what are you looking at me like that? I wasn't always a priest, you know. I was a teenager at one time. <laughs> <laughs> well, RB, I hope that we did you right. It was a vicious crosswind coming in for a landing. So I did the auto land feature. It was 24, 25 nautical miles per hour crosswind. And it was, I think that would have been expected, I think, of any pilot to come in on auto land to make sure that it's uh, a good landing for our passengers and so we don't break any of the crockery in the galley, eh? <laughs> well, I hope that you enjoyed the flight and I hope that you enjoyed this scenery, which is freeware, freeware scenery. And as I say, I'll put the location where I got it from in the description box below. So, thank you for flying with Ryanair 186 today. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.